Hello YouTubers. If you follow real estate much, you'll agree that trends come and they go. They even sometimes repeat themselves. In this video, we will look at an older house style and point out the good points and the bad points, and you can decide if this style of house could make a comeback. Hi, I'm Bruce Boys from Homes and Life, here again to talk about real estate and housing. First, I'd like to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed to this channel. And if you have any thoughts on this topic, please put them in the comments section down below. I'm interested in your viewpoints as well. Have you ever heard of the old TV show called The Brady Bunch? It was about a large family and their life experiences. The house that was shown on the exterior was a split level house. It was the style of house that accommodated a large family fairly comfortably. The split level house was somewhat popular from in the 1950s to in the 1970s and then it became not so popular due to changing trends. So what is a split level house? It's not a two-story house nor is it a bungalow. It's a house that's built with various living areas on separate levels, usually three or more. The levels are actually only half levels. Some will go up, some will go down. This does involve a number of short stairways to each of the various levels. The main entry level typically is the level for the dining, the living area, and the kitchen. Bedrooms and main bathrooms are upstairs and the family and recreation areas are down a level from the main floor. Some split levels also have one or more bedrooms or maybe an office on the lower level. And you'll find that in colder climates that require a deeper foundation, a fourth level will sometimes be built, which provides even more space for bedrooms or family rooms. If the size of the lot allows it, a garage can be attached to the lower side of the house or possibly incorporated into the lower level of the house. And a split level works well for properties that are sloping. A split level house may be split from side to side, the different levels on the side, or it may be split front to back where the levels go towards the back or the front. Again, they'll have the main level incorporating the kitchen, the living area, and the dining area. The front to back split will have bedrooms upstairs to the rear of the house with the family room downstairs to the rear. But the majority of split levels are a side to side split. So let's look at the good and the bad points of a split level house. The good. Probably the biggest positive point for a split level is the separation of the different living areas. The bedrooms are away from the main floor and the family room and any other rooms on the lower levels are again separated from the rest. More options for privacy are available. The bad. The separation of areas goes against the trends that's been around for the last few years where an open layout has been desirable. The main level can sometimes be remodeled to create a more open layout, but this can come at a fairly hefty expense. And we find also that young families may prefer the open space for supervision of the little people. The good. Having more levels gives more options for design features, both inside the house and outside the house. It can give the house more of an individual look rather than be just another cookie cutter or box style of house. The bad. While a split level house is cheaper to build than some styles of houses, a split level can be more costly than a two story. Every time there's a change or a corner in a foundation, it costs more money. So the split level does have a more expensive foundation. And in addition, 
you have two roof sections, one at this level, one at this level, creating more expense. If it doesn't have the two roof sections, what it could have is a longer slope to the roof, so it still creates more expense. The good. Because of the separation, the individual areas tend to be quieter and a little more private than an open floor plan. The bad. Having a number of levels also means that there are a number of stairs. There are stairs going up, there are stairs going down, and if there's a fourth level, well, it's again accessed by stairs. This makes the split level not as suitable for the elderly or for people with mobility issues. The good. When buying a house, we all want to get the best deal. Because the trend has been away from split level homes, a person may sometimes be able to purchase a split level home at a lower cost than another style of house with the same square footage. The bad. Some may think that this style of house is outdated, making the house a bit harder to sell when it does come time to put it back on the market for sale. Well, now you have some understanding of what a split level house is. In addition, as a realtor, I have found that a four level split makes much better use of space and as a result tends to sell better. A three level split has an area underneath the main floor that is more like a crawl space. It's a low area, it's probably just good for storage. Whereas the four level split has a full height area underneath that main floor. It could be used for another family room, a bedroom, or even more storage. And if it's a bedroom, remember it does need to have the legal egress. So what do you think? Is the split level gonna be a repeating trend? Some think it may be, and others think not. Feel free to comment down below. Thanks again for watching this video, and if you found this information interesting, remember to click the like and subscribe buttons below. There are more videos to come. Remember, life is an adventure, and I'll talk to you again soon.